Globe What's Happening in Sudan Why it is happening and what are the reasons behind it? Sudan is a country located below Egypt, with a coastline on the Red Sea. The northern part of the country is predominantly Arab Muslim, while the southern part is mainly composed of black African Christians and traditional worshippers popularly known as animists. The north and south of Sudan were in constant conflict for about 30 years, mainly due to differences in religion, ethnicity, economics, and politics. An estimated 2 million people lost their lives and millions were displaced as a result of the civil war. However, in 2005, a comprehensive peace agreement was signed between the Sudan government and the Sudan People's Liberation Movement, Army, SPLM, A, which eventually led to the independence of South Sudan in 2011. The United Nations, along with the United States and other African countries, mediated the agreement. What is currently happening in Sudan 2023? In the present day, Sudan is facing a different issue. The problem is not between Sudan and South Sudan again. This time, violence has erupted in the capital city of Khartoum and a few other nearby places because two people with different interests are fighting for the control of Sudan. Who are the two parties that are fighting now? On one side is General Abidal Fateh al-Burhan, the Sudanese president, then on the other side is his deputy, General Mohamed Hamdan Degalo, who is also the leader of RSF, Rapid Support Forces, which is a paramilitary force in Sudan. So we can say these are the two characters who have turned against each other and they are fighting for power in Sudan and that is what has caused the current chaos going on in Sudan. What you have to understand is that in Sudan whoever became the state head is automatically the president and they either came from civil society as a politician or they directly came from the military as a serving officer. Besides the president there is also prime minister in Sudan who is usually a politician and came into power through democratic elections. Omar al-Bashir was the head of Sudan that is the president of Sudan from 1989 to 2019. He became the president of Sudan on 38 June 1989. He was a military officer when he came to power in 1989 and was a brigadier general in the Sudanese army. Now as soon as he became the president in 1989 what he did was to abolish the position of prime minister. Omar al-Bashir along with a group of army officers overthrew the democratic. The democratically elected government of Prime Minister Sadiq al-Mahadi in 1989 and since then there was no Prime Minister position in Sudan since 1989. Omar del-Bashar wanted to have all power to himself and he wanted to rule Sudan without any external civil government so he was the President of Sudan from 1989 to 2019. That means the whole civil war between North and South Sudan happened during his time. South Sudan gained independence in 2011 which also happened during his tenure and after 2011 he was the one who was practically ruling and running Sudan. Now what happened in 2019? In 2019, President Omar al-Bashir made Abidal Fata al-Burhan Inspector General of the Sudanese Army and then two months later General Abidal Fatel Burhan along with his Deputy General Mohamed Hamdan Tagalo who was also his partner overthrew President Omar al-Bashir and General Burhan got the top job and he became the President of Sudan on April 11, 2019. Now this is how both started working closely and it was because of Mohamed Hamadan Tagalo's support General Burhan became the president of Sudan in 2019. In August 2019 they formed a body called the Transitional Sovereignty Council, TSC, which is going to be the federal government that is going to run Sudan. Now the question is why did they do it? You have to understand that there was an agreement between the civilian political groups and the military junta before forming the Transitional Sovereignty Council, TSC. According to that agreement the Transitional Sovereignty Council would last for only 3 years and 3 months, that is 39 months. That means at some point it has to finish and has to dissolve so it was to be ended after 39 months and in these 39 months the military junta will rule for 21 months and then the civilian political leaders will rule for 18 months. That means the 21 months of military rule were going to end on November 2021 and a month before that is on the 25th of October 2021 General Burhan along with the Sudanese military hijacked the government in a military coup. 
They detained several civilian government officers, ministers, member of political parties, lawyers, civil society activists and journalists. Many of them were even put on house arrest so the October 2021. Sudan coup was organized because the military did not want to hand over the government control to the civilian political parties. Now the next important question is after the 2021 coup both Burhan and Tagalo have ruled Sudan, so what happened eh?